call it what it is. I've asked for, send me prayer cloths. I've asked, send me whatever God puts on your heart, but I'm asking for help. Send me stamps. Send me envelopes. You don't got to send me money. Look, I don't need your money. I just need you to obey God. If you do that, you're going to be blessed, and I'm going to be blessed. And we together can step out into this lost and dying world. And we can make a difference. We are making a difference. We're making the devil matter. And hell is hot. Even as we speak on the program tonight, the enemy's attacking all around. But I'm singing, well, God's not dead. No, he's still alive. Whew. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. God's real, my friends. And there is a real body of Christ. If you're listening tonight, I want to take just a moment and talk to that lost soul, that one that's not been in church, that one that's never been saved, that one that's listening tonight just out of curiosity. And you think, man, what's going on? Well, let me tell you what's going on. God's raising up a people that's going to reach out to you. And you're, you're being given opportunity to receive life. You're given an opportunity to hear the truth. You see, I'm not trying to push you into a church denomination. I'm not trying to pull you in to get your money. I'm not trying to pull you in to get nothing from you except this. Would you try Jesus? You've tried the drugs, the alcohol. Ain't none of it done you no good. Won't you try Jesus? Listen, friends, we're running out of time. Where will you spend eternity? That's what it's coming down to. You either be, you either hear Jesus say, enter in or depart from me. Won't you reach out and take a hold of that unchanging hand of the great I am? Let's take back what the enemy stole. In the name of Jesus, let's take back what the enemy stole. Know that we love you. Let's give this a listen. Well, I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me. I'm taking back. Everything that the devil stole from me Take back my soul, my soul, my dad, my dad, my soul, 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 my soul,
taking it back. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. Amen. It's time for us to take it back, ain't it, church? Amen. Hey, guys, know that I love you, each and every one of you. And tonight for the uh, two and in speak, uh, Frank and Bill both, amen. Uh, first of all, I'm not ashamed of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of where I was and where he's got me. I'm ashamed of who I was. You see, but I where I was where I was because God had a plan, a purpose for my life. I'm just ashamed that I didn't grab a hold of it sooner. Okay, so I got that straightened out with you. All right, praise God. Um, <laughs> uh, amen. Bill says, "Man, you hit me uh, talking." But but Bill, you know. You know me. You you've been on the road with me. Uh, you know all I can tell you is don't don't say uh, don't tell me you're gonna do something then don't because uh, you know that you oughtn't do that. If 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 you're not gonna give to the gospel music jukebox, you ought to give somewhere to those that are doing the will of God. Now you know I'm not about money. I need money. Uh, you know, but God will give me the right people and the right people will give what I need. He already has been doing that. So I'm not going to tickle your ear and I'm not going to be your friend, uh, Bill. If you decide to quit listening, you, you, you say you're done, then uh, may God continue to bless you and whatever you go do. But uh, the truth is, uh, you know, you, it ain't me. It ain't me. This is this is a God move. God God birthed the gospel music jukebox, and God gave me the vision of the project reach out, and those that get aboard, God will send them, and they're going to be blessed. Those that don't, that's between you and God. That's that's the bottom line. But I'm not backing up, and I'm not, and I'm not, you know, I'm going forward, and I'm going forward in the name of Jesus. And uh, you know, we're going to call sin sin, and we're going to preach the gospel right here on the gospel music jukebox. The truth shall set us free. I do want to say thank you to all the faithful listeners. Thank you to uh, all those that uh, do uh, and are faithful with your five dollars a month. And I know some of you give more than five. You, but I know the five is what God told me. Anything you do above that is is precious. And and God, I'm, I know God's blessed you without a shadow of a doubt. You can't outgive God. And and if you pray and obey God, you're going to be blessed, <laughs> and we're going to be blessed here at the Gospel Music Jukebox, and we'll continue to get the gospel out, not only through the radio. Yes, I do go. Uh, not only do I street uh, preach, not only do I, I show up if you call me and you need prayer and you want your home anointed or you got a demon, uh, you, you're, you're in spiritual warfare, and you want a man of God with a team with born-again believers, Holy Ghost and on fire for God, and you want us to come and pray with you and for you and over your house, over you and with you, we will do that. But be assured of this. It ain't no show, and and it and it ain't no it ain't no game. It's real. We're gonna tell you the gospel first. If you're not saved, <laughs> then it would be of none effect. Do you hear me? The first thing you need to do is get yourself right with God. And friends, you can do that. You can do that right now, right there where you're at. Just simply hit your knees and <laughs> make things right with God. If you're if you're if you've got that broken heart and that contrite spirit, he'll no wise cast you out, my friend. He'll take you. But it's got to be real. You got to be ready to get rid of the world, come out from amongst the world and be ye a separated people. You got to sell out to Jesus. Do you hear me? I believe you do. If you do that, let us know in the comment box. You can comment even on the archive programs. Just let us know. We'd love to rejoice with you and the angels. If you've accepted Jesus Christ by anything said or done during one of these programs, please share that with us. You can call uh, and share it on the phone line, or you can share it in the, in the chat room. But we'd love to hear from you. Now, a moment, a word to my friends, my brothers and my sisters. 
I need your help. Please, you can call once a day and share a scripture. You can call and share a testimony. You can call and just say hello. But mainly show the world that we, the body of Christ, are not ashamed. Now, if you disagree with my my preaching style or my anointing or whatever you want to call this, you're at liberty to do so. That's, that's good. But let me tell you something. The body of Christ prays for one another. We support one another. We show up for one another. We help one another. If you do not Listen, this is how the world knows who we are, by the love that we have one for another. Now, don't tell me you love me and never do nothing, because then that, that ain't cutting it, man. If you say you love me, show me. Have I not showed you? Those of you that's never met me that would love to, all you got to do is pray and call me and say, hey, we'd like to see you. We want to pray with you. You'll see. I'll show up at your door. You may have to feed me a baloney sandwich, but I will come in the name of Jesus. Know that we love you. Let's take back what the devil stole. Let's unite in the body of Christ. Let's come together as Pastor Eddie Garrett was saying. Let's come together. And let's go forth into this lost and dying world preaching the gospel, the good news. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Choose you this day. Whom will you serve? We love you. We'll see you next time. We'll try to be on tomorrow night, but due to the internet problem, I have to come down at my son's. We'll just have to play it day by day and see till they get our internet fixed and our cable and our phone back at my house. I'll try to find places to do it. But uh, you continue to pray for us. Because we're going to continue to go forth. Not only on the streets here in Crossville, but I'm liable to be in your hometown preaching the gospel. Will you come out and help me? I don't know. I can't get a phone call. I don't know. We'll see. We love you. Continue to pray for us. We'll continue to pray for you and yours. God bless each and every one of you.